All right, everybody. <clears throat> I'm out here with a Mark III, um, a regenerative air sweeper. Just wanted to give you an overview, a quick walk around on some of the items that we have on this sweeper here. Uh, it's mounted on a 17950 chassis. Um, this one, you can have the options for dual steering or camera system or both. Um, you got a 39 inch gutter broom with recessed disc. Allows the gutter broom motor to set down inside there. It's got a 27 degree angle tilt, which is gonna help you get down to any kind of overlays uh, when you're sweeping the cities. This one here has an electric uh, water solenoids. It's got a 12 volt backup system so you can raise and lower any of the functions without starting your auxiliary engine. This one here is equipped with a hopper shroud. Uh, one thing that we do on here, is on the back side I'm gonna climb up on here and show you hopefully y'all can see that but it's it's stamped on the back side so you can have the head jump the hopper the head so if you have a problem or an issue um, when you call talk to Monty or anybody they'll be able to walk you through and you can go straight this here you'll have a pressure gauge that's inside the cab inside your glove box you can hook that up and check the pressure this here and i apologize but this is on a on a uneven ground but it, one of the features that we have is a hood up uh hoods a hoods up feature which will allow your pickup head to be raised and lowered from the front of your pickup head keeping your back down and sealed to allow trash and everything to get up underneath your pickup head so it's not balling in front of there we use a 30 inch fan uh, it's, there's your leaf bleeder that's going to help you when you're sweeping up leaves you can open that up that's actually going to cause a starving effect which is going to reach out there in front of your pickup head and suck the leaves up underneath there this one here going back you've got nozzles you got seven nozzles across the front bumper which is a which is an option the standard water nozzles you're going to have two on each gutter broom four around your pickup head and when you come back to the hopper you're going to have four that's going to be inside uh if you can see those up there on the top screen you've got four above the screen which is going to help keep the dust down large aluminum toolboxes so you can take and you can put anything that's inside there those ports go all the way to cross on the other side so you can take a rake shovel backpack blower got a large port down here which goes to the other side so you can actually stick your hose all the way through there our entire hopper and shroud is stainless steel everything on there from the bars to the doors to the screens everything inside the hopper is stainless steel this one here is equipped with a hopper shaker it's going to help it limit get everything out out of your out of your hopper when it's caked up inside there you've got two doors One's your dump door, one is your screen uh, clean out door. Easy access to help clean out your screens. If you'll notice, this has a bumper here. It also has a, a place for a hitch. It's got a 3,000 pound towing capacity. So you can actually hook a trailer up. And if you need to haul anything around, you can do that. Like I said, the large doors go all the way across to the other side. Just showing you the holes on the now, the big thing that we have here is if you look at the, the engine, your engine doesn't set down inside anywhere. It is out in the open, so you got easy access to work on it. You've got a large drain hose, um, so if you need to drain the oil out of there, you got the Cape Bill sweeping in forward and reverse without causing any damage to your pickup pit, gutter brooms, or drag arms. And this here is just another, another view of the 27 degree angle tilt um so you can get down to any kind of overlay i'm going to be taking this out sweeping if anybody would like to see it in any kind of uh, picking up different kind of debris just post on here i'll try to replicate it as much as i can uh and i'll get you a a sweeping view i'll do my best since i'm out here by myself but i'll get a view of everything that you're going to need so you can see uh, how this mark three operates so if you have any any questions feel free to tag it in here anybody from victory will answer those questions uh, and if you'd like to see it sweeping in a certain application 
just post on there and I'll do my best to, to duplicate that. Plus I'm gonna brag about my view here. Too bad I don't have a dadgum fishing pole. But if y'all have any questions or like to see anything, let me know. Appreciate it.